How's it going, everybody? Welcome Sorry. back to Nintatics. Anyways, what's I'm up? I'm Noah. I'm Alex. Uh, we're going to be reacting to a new song by Idola, or Idola, Idola. however you pronounce it. Um, so I don't really know much about this band. I just know Andrew Wells is the lead singer because he's been featured in Dance Gavin Dance songs. That's and we love Dance Gavin Dance. Of course. So. <laughs> going to see them live. Um, but yeah, so I have I know his band was signed to, to uh, Swan Blue Swan Records at one point. It looks like it's signed to Rise Records say, now. I don't think they are anymore. It says Rise they, Records on this. So okay. yeah, so, so must be Rise. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they're well, Dance Scam Dances too. I wonder if Rise got. It wasn't Rise the one at one time that wasn't good. No, Rise has always been that, good. What was the one that was bad? I don't know. The, uh, the, not Victory. Victory. It might have been Victory. The one, are you talking about the one that ADTR was on? Yeah. Isn't that Victory? It might have been Victory, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, they had yeah, a lot of problems mind. with never trying mind. to control that's their victory. bands or something. Yeah, that's Victory. Yeah, no, 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 no. no Rise has always been good. I think Between the Barrier and Me was on Victory. At one yeah, point. now they're on Sumerian, right? Uh, yeah? I think. I forget, but uh, anyway. I think Born of Osiris is Sumerian also. But besides that. Anyway, Idola. Idola, yeah. Yes. Uh, the new song is called Counterfeit... <laughs> Rhymes. Oh, hey, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're starting now. <laughs> yep. So far, I love that guitar. You already know there's going to be some swan ish oh, for sure. guitar in here. Always love his voice, too. Ooh, the drumming. Did you hear that? It's really fast. Oh, for sure. Definitely love his vocals so far. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. It's like just effortlessly. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, just the tune, like the melodies he's singing. Reminds me of Kurt a little bit from Dance Gotta okay. Dance. I can hear the bass too. A little bit. Like, I don't know if they put some kind of effect on his voice to make that um, like oh. kind of vibrato sound. Ooh, nice clean section. Listen to that. How does he sing like that? I don't know, man. I can't sing like that. It's crazy. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I love this. It sounds like a strip sound, but you hear that guitar come in. Because the, the drum is doing a little fast drumming. I can't. Oh, yeah, very fast. The leads definitely have a Swan Records sound to them. Oh, yeah, for it's sure. going to. I feel like yeah. pretty much every band that's on Swan Records. Yeah, I mean, they pick them for a reason, you know? Yeah, it's got that sound. Yeah, for sure. Which I love. Yeah, not that it sounds the same or anything. Yeah, no. It's different. I love I love bands like this that like they have their high paced moments, but then they have these kind of moments. Yeah. And yeah. they like they bring in that like a clean guitar oh, instead yeah. of the overdrive, and it sounds real nice. Nice chill drum. Yeah. It just, it just like jumped up and then like got really really hard, and then all of a sudden just backed up yeah, slowly. Sure. Now it's nice and light now. Build up back into the. I like this. For sure. Oh, it like crescendoed and then died down a bit again. Yeah. It's like doing this. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that bass line right there. Yes. That's cool. You hear that in the background? Yeah, there's it's like a, other... it sounds like a guitar. I it think is. it is. It is. It almost sounds, sounds like sirens. It's like kind of cool. It's like they double timed it in here. Oh yeah. Kind of yeah, picked yeah. it up. Nice. Decent like song. Yeah. I like how that guitar sounds very echoey. And yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, the drums, it's just, it's just all over the place. Oh, you do the drummer. But, but in the man. best way possible. Like, for sure. Just, 
Wow. Yeah. Oh, I like this part. That's like a very really fast pace, man. Yeah. You can hear like a very fast picking. Yeah. I didn't even know they had someone who could do unclean vocals in this. Yeah, very well they do. Definitely very consistent. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, counterfeit shrines. It's an interesting name. Definitely. I wonder what it means. I don't listen to lyrics. So I said, so. I'm trying to figure out what in the world that means, but <laughs> yeah. okay. I, I listen to music before I listen to lyrics. It's just kind of how we do it because we're musicians. Yeah. But, you know. Um, so, yeah, that was a pretty good song. Uh, Definitely, you can hear the instrumentalists, like, they're very good at what they do. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it had, like, a... Almost, it had, like, a little bit of a progressive element to some of the guitars. It did, yeah. For sure. Some of the riffs they were using. Yeah. Um, Obviously very Dance Gavin Dance. Sounding, yeah. yeah. There is something about it, though, and this is kind of what I've noticed about some bands that are or used to be signed to swan records yeah they they said while they sound good it's like not enough to grab my attention as much like I, this sounded good but it's probably not something i'm gonna seek out yeah and no listen I, to, like, I agree crazy. with you because the other night when i was trying to go through some of the bands that were on yeah. swan records yeah i didn't like idola like it was like it's, some of the songs I heard, like it was good. It's yeah, just, I don't it know. It sounds like more of the same thing, you know. Like, yeah, you, like, you, you hear one song, you've kind of heard. That's what I'm saying. Them, like, I know? remember when you showed me "Dance Gavin Dance Man." That just pulled me yeah. in right well, away. Well, that's the thing. Like, they it's because they're unique. They have their own sound they, because not only do they have like Tillian's super high vocals, but the hooks he used, the yeah, melodies he uses, and, and then you have the where I started the unclean vocals to balance it out, yeah. kind of with I, I, instant I, gratification. I, Idola, it's like. Like, yeah, they're all extremely talented. Don't get me wrong. The drumming was insane in this song, by the way. And the vocals, too. I mean, he's, he's yeah, got a really Yeah, he's got a voice. great voice. Um, it's just something about it that's just, like... Yeah, if it... Obviously, like, if it's coming on in, like, a playlist, I'll jam out to it, of course, you know? Like, it's a good song. It probably sounds pretty good in, like, good speakers and, yeah, or no, headphones. Yeah, it does. But, like... It probably does. Also, there's got to be a point to where, like... I don't know. I'm getting so desensitized on music now that I'm looking for things that throw me <laughs> off, you know? Yeah. So I think that's the thing. Yeah, so it's like, if you want to listen to that, might as well just turn on DGD instead. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, I want something that'll grab my attention, something a little more unique. It was a good song, though. I think it just... I don't know. It, I feel like they... I don't know. The progressiveness just wasn't really... I don't know. They could have done more. You know what I mean? Yeah, It just yeah. seemed kind of like... They could have took a section and made it, I don't know, more of a drive to it. It just... Yeah, I feel you. Like, it would move into the chorus. And, like, even the song structure was kind of... It was kind of boring a little bit. Yeah, I feel you. Well, that's the thing, like... I feel like some bands who, like... This is just a personal thing with my personal music taste. Yeah. Some bands who have, like, only a clean vocalist... They don't really do like screams or anything. Mm -hmm. Like you got to be doing something special, yeah. Or, or else, like, like I feel like throwing in unclean vocals definitely adds to it, and it adds to a, a heavy element. Cause yeah. I don't know, there's something about adding a heavy element that kind of adds to it. This didn't have like any heavy element to it. It was like it definitely had a math rock sound to it, sort of. Oh yeah, I mean, that's but true. that was it. It wasn't like heavy. any anything else. I don't know. I like, I like a mixture of both, you know, like BT Bam, it's got, it's, obviously it's got a super heavy moments, but then you got parts that back it off or mix different genres or stuff like that, so, like, I feel like they could have done, added something else to the song to make it a little bit more different. It just kind of stuck to the same sound. Yeah, that's sound, the thing, the it sounded like song. a bunch of other songs that I've already heard before. Yes, exactly. That, that, that's the one problem they I have They weren't bringing it. anything new to the table whatsoever. Yeah. And Good, I'm not saying you yeah. need to, you know, it's just... Yeah. I mean, they have their sound, you know. So, like, 
It was still a good song, though. No, it was. And I will admit the drastic like build up and then into the very light part, like that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was that was definitely cool. And I I, I liked when they dropped out too. Yeah. When they dropped out to those light parts. That's what I was saying. It gives you like a nice moment. It was just nice and calm. Exactly, and, nice you know. chill. I did like that because a lot of bands won't do that. Like that's also my problem with Beartooth is they never had a moment to rest. It was all just punch you in the face, high energy the whole album. Yeah. There was no moments to rest. And I like bands who do both. So, like in my opinion, this is just my opinion. Every band, every album, doesn't need a soft song, but it's nice when they throw one in. You know? Yeah. Because it's like a nice breather. Oh well, it's mainly like heavy, heavy bands. It really just depends on how well the album's put together, too, though. Exactly. Like, because I know Born of Osiris, they're not gonna have a slow song. That's just Born of Osiris. But I'm sure yeah. the album's put together well enough that they don't need one. Yeah. But bands like you know like I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, Beartooth could have used a slow song in their uh, newest album. I'm trying to sure. think of a band that has, like, a certain formula that they do the same, like, every album. Beartooth. <laughs> yeah, I guess Beartooth could be one, yeah. Beartooth, if you listen to all three of the four, four now, I guess, all four of their albums, they sound the same. They do. But there's nothing wrong with that. They're, you know, a lot of fans it's, like that. It's their sound. Yeah, which for is, sure. Which is cool. When you hear Beartooth, you know it's Beartooth. Yeah. Which is also very good. Uh... But with bands like this, I feel like if you put this singer with another band on the same record label, yeah, probably wouldn't be able it, to tell a difference. It's so saturated out now that it's yeah, just for like, sure. you don't know who's who. It's so like, yeah, oh, like, it's Idola. Well, yeah. Not- so, say you put him in, I don't know if you guys have heard Hail the Sun. It's another band on Blue Swan Records. Or was. I don't think they're a band anymore. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, but you throw him on that band, and it sounds exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, you could just be like, oh, that's Idola. I'd be like, oh, no, it's actually, it's actually Hail to the, the Sun. sun. Yeah. yeah. It, same band. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the same problem with uh, Johnny Craig's bands, too. But that's what's funny about um, Will Swan, though, because he's in so many different bands, but they for all sure. kind of sound the same. Yeah, for sure. The only ones <laughs> that sound different are Dance, Gavin Dance, and Secret Band. But they, I mean, they, they do have some differences, but you can sure, definitely yeah. tell that yeah. that's, you know, John Mess with Will Swan. You can, you can, for just sure, tell. yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's the thing I like about both of those bands is Secret Band has its own sound. It does. It's, it's like just heavy. It's super heavy. Well, I think they knew they kind of had to. They're like, we can't, yeah. just, they can't just do Dance Gavin Dance heavy. You yeah, because, I mean, Tillian's got his own solo stuff too. But in a way, it kind of sounded like that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was a good song. Uh, let us know what you yeah, guys no, think that, in the that, comments. It wasn't a bad song. Yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments. If you agree, if you disagree, we're open to all opinions here. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe. <laughs> the con? The con? I forgot Tip? how to speak English. <laughs> it's not you said condiment. The <laughs> if condiment. you like the condiments, we'll throw some mustard we'll on We'll throw you. some mayo and ketchup yeah. and mustard in your face. All right, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.